Yes, sir. This is your boy, Jake Fever, and I just want to come to you and tell you, man, your boy, Ja, is been tripping. Everybody been talking about him. And I guess uh, I guess he's going through a situation with the Memphis Grizzlies again, and I think um, he pulled out another gun on social media. I don't know what he got going on. I know he got the right to bear arms and stuff, but I don't know their situation or what they can do in the NBA and stuff like that. But I just come to you to tell you, this man possibly, he possibly ruined Two drinks that I like, and this right here being one of the best ones, man, because I want to come to you from a different perspective. Like, whatever he on, I don't want to be on. That's what I'm trying to tell you because I can't see myself uh, dropping a bag like that, losing hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm trying to get to a bag. That's why I'm doing these reviews. But Casamigos, man, I got a um, review up on the internet right now. It's one of my most viewed videos with the Casamigos Reposados. And I'm not lying to you. This is a very delicious tequila. To me, I like it a lot. But some people say it's additives and stuff in there. So I guess the additives might have got the job. If you don't know what I'm talking about, man, I got a video showing what job be on. So y'all can dodge that if y'all want to. Now, this is Claus Azul. I've seen this in the footage, too. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the video that I got. My boy, my boy be on it. So I'm going uh, show to show y'all what he be on. Give me a second. Migos got me tripping. Yes, sir. Hey. That's uh, from Mindy. So I'll let her know. Y'all seeing G12 all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Big Glock. G12 all weekend, man. Where the Migos at? Choose your poison. That's why I'm Choose your poison today, man. With what? With what? Migo. Migo. Okay. All right. Sit that in that in that goodie bag, right? Hey, pops, I, I had you. to text you. You said you texted him. Yeah. 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 He got to see me too. <laughs> <laughs> Shot a clock, man. Shot a clock. Wine. <laughs> Migos got me tripping. Man, that man, that wild. But the Migos got him tripping like that. So that's that's wild to me, bro. I do like the Casamigos now. Uh, shot o'clock. I gotta steal that. That man don't use everything that we got. We got going on. He said shot o'clock. He hit me. Yes, sir. And everything. But hey, the Migos do got him tripping. If, if he on the Migos when he making all these bad decisions. I guess I guess it's so called bad decisions. I think it's like a uh, young man type decision. So people might call it bad decisions. I call it a young man decision or whatever like that. So I don't know, man. John, I don't know what you're gonna do, bro. But a lot of people is talking about, it, bro. But I'm just talking about, hey, y'all might need to stay away from the Casamigos. Whatever they talk about, additives and stuff in there, it got them tripping probably. But I do like this because it has um. It has the agave flavor in there, and um, I don't know if it has a lot of additives. I don't know the rules and regulations of the additives, but I just go by the price and the taste. Now, this is about a $200 bottle, and this is about a $60 bottle, but I'm talking about the fifth of this is about 60 bucks. And these both are Reposados tequilas, and this one's much better for the price, too. So I like this a lot more than the um, Claus Azul. So he got both of, he got both of the, um, the liquors, but... He should have uh he should just have both of, two of these. Now, a lot of people you see um is actually talking about it. I seen Stephen A. Smith, I seen uh Shannon Sharp, I seen so many social media and uh YouTubers talking junk about him, but that's a young man 
and he gonna find his way. I believe he's gonna find his way. I heard Charles the White tell us so he wish he shoot himself in the leg and stuff. I'm like, bro, I don't know about that. I don't wish bro shoot himself in the leg, but I don't know why he why he got a gun. I don't know who he may be. He could be the Aaron Hernandez of the NBA. You don't know why he carried a gun like that. So you don't know what people' issues is. I know a lot of people telling telling everybody that he come from a good home and he comes from like uh, the suburbs and stuff. But regardless of the fact that uh, he comes from the suburbs, he could have got himself in some mess and he could be toting because he got to hold it, you know. So. It ain't his homeboys that he's around that I don't believe because I, I seen the video, uh, but I don't have any video footage. I'm not going to re-show it. You can, you can Google that if you want to, but I seen the video myself and it looked like his homeboy accidentally, uh, they was on live and then Job pulled the gun out on his own because they was vibing and that's, that could be some kid shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. And everybody who good at basketball probably they probably don't want to play basketball. They just got the guy given talent. Like what you do on your job, you might be good at your job, but you know you probably don't want to do that. See, my job, I, I, I like my job, but what I want to do is I want to shoot footage, talk about drinks and stuff on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, that's fun to me. I want to do some fun shit. So everybody who's playing basketball, you got to realize that it ain't all fun and games for them. It's just a business. It's just a way, to, a means to make some money. And maybe a lot of pressure on him. You don't know what's going on in that man's mind. He, he got, he was on the airplane, a G12, I guess that's what he said. So he he got, he had his whole family on that plane, grandma, friends, family. So he could be paying a lot of bills. People could be stealing money for him, from him. He, he probably can't even manage $100 million. And you're like, oh, he dropped the bag or whatever. But... A lot of money to manage is a headache to some people. Some people just rather have what they have and they know they, that's what they got rather than managing somebody stealing from managing relationships with people to make sure they watch it and stuff like that. So whatever you whatever whatever you got against Ja, let that man live his life. I know everybody want to save everybody, but people got to go through what they got to go through. Sometimes you got to fall hard. Some other people got to fall harder than others. Some people can't even get up after they fall. I don't know what's going on with Ja, but I know one thing. I know one thing for sure. This a drinking challenge. Hey, he might not need to be what he owes. He told you choose your poison. Boy, he might not need to be on what you owe, big dog. I might have to put these up, put these away for some shot, shot of clocks later on. But right now, hey, the way your situation set up, see, like I need to be on that Lobos, that LeBron. <laughs> That LeBron nasty though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I might have to take my chances with uh, whatever job because I can't go on that low move. I'm sorry, bro. That shit trash. That might that Michael Jordan trash too. That sick horror, bro. <laughs> hey, you about to take your risk with this? I ain't gonna lie. You might you might can go risky with this. <laughs> but hey, that's my take on job. A little um, a little action with the with the bar and stuff in the back. I just wanted to holler at y'all. Yes, sir.